work and on this topic has been so deeply informed by conversations with this community. I mean, I, I look at the phone and I look at social media in a Byron Katie sense, if you will, as kind of a false belief factory that every time you scroll, it is creating yet another warped perception of reality. And it's really by tuning into these technologies as reality constructing interfaces and everything you could diagnose as being harmful about, you know, fake news or, um, you know, the, the psychological issues of technology on the outside, you can actually also do inside of your own mind. You know, we have, um, uh, you know, do we have a negativity bias? So for example, if you have a hundred pieces of feedback and 99 are positive and one is negative, mm -hmm. what does your mind do? Do you, does your mind focus on the 99 that are positive or does it go to the one that's negative? Obviously it goes to the one that's negative. And then it's like, we loop on that as well. So even after you turn off the phone, do you think about the 99, you know, go back to think about the 99 or do you think about the, the one that's negative and do you keep looping on that? Knowing about that is a process of mindfulness and understanding how your own mind works that for good reasons, it's very healthy for us to, or important as an evolutionary basis to care about what other people think of us. And um, I've actually had to exercise that recently because, you know, as much as there's about 99% positive feedback about the film, there's a few negative ones and you, you sort of notice how this, this whole system is working and everything that's true about the system working on the outside is true about the fake news and virality of bad information on the inside. So it's been just a, we could talk about this for hours, but my internal process is 100% um, informs, I think, you know, what we can diagnose about what's wrong with technologies, what we can diagnose that's maybe manufactured in our own minds. Mm -hmm.